in the shop here today and I thought I'd do a video on if you want to fix your, your go-kart seat or whatever this is a red and black seat um, if you got a vinyl or leather or whatever most of them vinyl seat uh, anyway cleaned all the dirt off of it wiped it down with alcohol and I'll show you in a minute this had to use painters tape the whole seat over here had to go around it see the painters tape I done undid the end that all taped up I'm just showing you the process of whatever you have to go through if you have a vinyl seat like this or whatever is faded or take a look at the paint the red was kind of a little hard to find I found a red at uh where was that at Vance Autos parts you can look around and find it. Vinyl and fabric, that's the kind of paint you want to use because it's uh, flexible. So it don't crack up or flick off. Uh, make sure you wipe, wipe it down with alcohol. Get all the oils and stuff off of it. And see, so you got to tape it off. So I'll show you how this seat is because you'll see when I take the tape off here. Probably look, I got the heater on it, so we'll pull it back. Got these gloves on here, let's see. But you'll see how the design is on it. Oh, come on down. There we go. And you see it. There you go. See how that looks? We'll do the, keep doing it. Make sure when you, before you do any of these seats or anything like that, uh, make sure you wash it, clean it, make sure all the dirts and the crevices have it. Let's see here. Like I said, I use the alcohol to wipe it down. Before I start to paint, make sure it's dry afterwards, and then go ahead and paint. The alcohol takes all the oil off. Because you know the seat, and doing a seat or anything like that, if anybody's sitting on it, it's going to have oil and stuff. So you got to get all that off. It's going on a go-kart. It's a two-seater. I hope I'm getting this. I wasn't paying attention to the camera when I was taking this off. So hopefully you can see what's going on. There we go. That well, looks pretty good. There you go. Got taped off. And what happened was this says sit. Not outside, but it was sitting. The sun was shining on it. And this red had turned to pink. Pinkish white. Well, more white. It looked like crap. You can see the logo. Coleman. That's nice. You can see it through there. So let's finish taking this off anyway. But you need to tape around the whole back like you see you see how I did. Because that overspray is going to get on. If you paint in a shop, just remember, you know, you want to make sure. Be wary of overspray. Ain't nothing really here. The tools, I don't matter. It might get a little sprinkle on it. But if you got something expensive, like a, let's say you got a flat screen TV, you don't want to be spraying around that. And you're going to notice you're going to have red sprinkles all over it. It's good to paint inside because there ain't much wind inside. I got the heater on this little little heater because it's a little damp out. But you see, it looked out good, see? See, it turned out good. Doing that taping on there. Take a little time, do it right. All right. I'm going to see. Hopefully, I can move this seat around without dropping it. Let's see if she turn around real quick so I can get get you some shots taking the other half come on now come on now come around here take it off to here here we go all right my bat i'm about to run out of time on this so